What if I told you that a company you've probably never seen advertised runs the operations of 99 out of the 100 largest companies in the world? From Coca-Cola to Airbus, from Nestle to Nike. Behind the scenes, one German tech giant quietly powers the world of enterprise, SAP. But how did SAP go from a tiny startup to the king of enterprise software? Let's dive in. Hi, and welcome back to Brand Mastermind, where we uncover the secrets behind the world's most iconic brands and tech giants. Today, we're exploring the fascinating story of SAP, the company that dominates the global enterprise software market. How did it start? What makes its business model so powerful? And why do so many of the world's biggest corporations rely on it every single day? Stick around, you're about to find out. Our story begins in 1972 in Waldorf, Germany. At the time, five former IBM engineers, Dietmar Hopp, Paso Plattner, Klaus Wellenreuther, Klaus Chira, and Hans Werner Hector, saw a huge opportunity. Back then, most businesses were using massive mainframe computers running custom-coded software. Every process was siloed, and companies had to spend millions building their own systems. These five engineers had a bold idea. What if we built one integrated system that could handle all of a company's processes? Finance, HR, manufacturing, supply chain, in real time. This idea led to the birth of SAP, which originally stood for System Analyse und Programmentwicklung, or in English, Systems Analysis and Program Development. By 1973, SAP released its first product, SAP R1, a real-time financial accounting system. Through the 80s and 90s, SAP kept innovating. In 1992, it launched SAP R3, a revolutionary client-server-based ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning System. By the early 2000s, SAP was expanding globally, entering the US, China, and beyond. Today, SAP is one of the world's largest software companies, second only to Microsoft in enterprise software revenue. Now, what exactly is SAP's business model, and why is it so successful? At its core, SAP sells software to large businesses, software that helps them run their entire operations. But SAP's strength lies in a few key pillars. Modular ERP system companies can choose the modules they need, finance, procurement, supply chain, HR, customer experience, and more. Two, deep industry customization. SAP has industry-specific solutions for automotive, retail, healthcare, manufacturing, and over 25 sectors. Three massive ecosystem SAP partners with thousands of consultants, systems integrators, and technology firms, creating a huge global ecosystem that drives adoption. Four, recurring revenue today. SAP is shifting from on-premise software to cloud-based subscriptions, generating high-margin, recurring revenue. Over the decades, SAP has racked up some impressive wins. 99 of the world's top 100 companies use SAP. Over 400,000 customers in 180 countries. Its software manages 77% of global transaction revenue. But it hasn't been all smooth sailing. SAP faced growing competition from Oracle, a major U.S. rival in ERP and databases, Salesforce, which disrupted CRM with cloud-first software, Workday and ServiceNow, agile cloud-native competitors. In the late 2010s, SAP had to pivot fast to embrace the cloud. Enter SAP S4 HANA, its next-gen cloud-based ERP suite built on the powerful HANA in-memory database. SAP also invested heavily in AI, machine learning, and business networks staying competitive in a rapidly evolving market. So, how does SAP maintain its dominance today? Here are the key reasons. Deep integration. Across business processes, SAP's ERP touches every part of a company, making it incredibly sticky. Once SAP is in place, switching costs are massive. Two industry depth SAP knows its verticals, whether it's discrete manufacturing, pharmaceuticals, or financial services. Three, global reach. SAP operates in all major markets and complies with local regulations, giving it a key edge in global enterprise deals. Four Partner Network With tens of thousands of certified SAP consultants worldwide, companies feel safe betting on SAP. Five Cloud Transformation SAP's move to the cloud via S4 HANA Cloud and SAP Business Technology Platform is accelerating. In 2023, SAP's cloud revenue surpassed its traditional license revenue for the first time, a major milestone. So what's next for SAP? 
the future looks strong. With growing demand for cloud ERP, AI-powered business insights, and connected enterprise networks, SAP is well-positioned. The company is also investing heavily in green tech, sustainability tracking, and supply chain resilience, critical areas for the future of business. SAP may not be a household name, but behind the scenes, it remains the backbone of the global economy. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the story of SAP, hit that like button, subscribe to Brand Mastermind, and ring the bell so you never miss a new video. We'll be back soon with more fascinating stories from the world of business and technology. Until next time, thanks for watching.